Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Bryce from Coin Chronicles. I hope you are doing well. Today we will take a look at two coins from the year 1869 as well as study some of the history and events of the year. We will look at both coins and the important details such as mintage, grading, and inflationary value or purchasing power of the time. First, let's take a look at the characteristics of the 1869 nickel 3 cent piece. The 1869 nickel 3 cent piece has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 1.94 grams. It has a composition of 75% copper and 25% nickel, and its designer was James B. Longacre. Its mintage is 1,604,000. Its inflation value is 65 cents for the year 1869. And the numismatic values range from $15 in good condition to $185 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1869 nickel 3 cent piece from my collection. So as we look at this 1869 nickel 3 cent piece, we can see that the coin certainly does have some wear on the face of it as the rim and many of the head details are worn down. However, the words and the liberty on the head are still legible, and the head is, is clearly outlined. Now, as we turn the coin around to the back, it appears that many of the details are worn down as well as the front. The lines in the Roman numerals are worn off, and the detail in the wreath is gone. However, everything is clearly outlined. Overall, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of fine condition. Now we will take a look at the characteristics of the 1869 shield nickel 5 cent piece. The 1869 shield nickel 5 cent piece has a size of 20.5 millimeters, a weight of 5 grams, and it has a composition of 75% copper and 25% nickel and its designer was James B. Longacre. Its mintage is 16,395,000. Its inflationary value is $1.09 for the year 1869. And the numismatic values range from $25 in good condition to $225 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1869 shield nickel 5 cent piece from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1869 shield nickel 5 cent piece, we can see that it has quite a bit of wear on the face and has seen better days. But if looked at carefully, the outline of the shield and the wreath is still somewhat clear. And the date is blurred, but still slightly readable. Now as we turn the coin around to the back, it looks like this side of the coin has less wear than the face, given there is less minted details. The five, the words, and the stars are all visible and clear. If I were to grade this coin, I would definitely give it a grade of good condition. Now we will look at some of the history and key events from the year 1869. First, in 1869, Ulysses S. Grant becomes the 18th President of the United States. The first transcontinental railroad is completed in Utah. The infamous outlaw Jesse James commits his first bank robbery in Gallatin, Missouri and the Wyoming Territorial Legislature gives women the right to vote, which was one of the first laws of its kind in the nation and the world. Also in 1869, the first game of American football was held on November 6, 1869. The pipe wrench was invented by Daniel C. Stilson, and the clothes hanger was invented by O. A. North. In 1869, the song Little Brown Jug was written by Joseph Eastburn Winner, which was originally a drinking song and became popular during the Prohibition era, 
later to be made popular again by the musician and band leader Glenn Miller. Also, the song Shoe Fly Don't Bother Me is written by Thomas Bishop and later sung by soldiers in the Spanish-American War of 1898 when flies and mosquitoes carrying yellow fever became a threat. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. For more videos, please like and subscribe. Also, I would like to give you the opportunity to try handmade bar soap from Prairie Scent Company, my small business in California. If you are interested, please click the link in the description and you will be led to Prairie Scent Company's website to shop. Thank you. Keep on collecting and have a great day.